to celebrate the Paschal joys of risen life. Let all creation worship you, O blessed forgiving Trinity. And we, by pardon born on you, shall sing a new song to the Amen. The Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. Rescue me, Lord, from evil men, from the violent keep me safe, from those who plan evil in their hearts and stir up strife every day, who we'll sharpen their tongue like an adder, with the poison of viper on their lips. Lord, guard me from the hands of the wicked, from the violent keep me safe. They plan to make me stumble. The proud have hidden a trap, have spread out lines in a net, set snares across my path. I have said to the Lord, You are my God. Lord, hear the cry of my appeal. Lord my God, my mighty help, you shield my head in the battle. Do not grant the wicked their desire, nor let their plot succeed. Those surrounding me lift up their heads, let the malice of their speech overwhelm them. <clears throat> let coals of fire rain upon them. Let them be flung in the abyss, no more to rise. Let the slanderer not endure upon the earth. Let evil hunt the violent man to death. I know that the Lord will avenge the poor, that he will do justice for the needy. Truly the just will praise your name. The upright shall live in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Son of Man will be delivered up to be crucified. Everyone abandoned me, but the Lord stood by me. With all my voice I cry to the Lord, with all my voice I entreat the Lord. I pour out my trouble before Him. I tell Him all my distress, while my spirit faints within me. But you, O Lord, know my path. On the way where I shall walk, they have hidden a snare to entrap me. Look on my heart and see, there is no one who takes my part. I have no means of escape, not one who cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord, I have said you are my refuge. All I have in the land of the living. 
Listen then to my cry, for I am in the depths of distress. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of this prison, and then I shall praise your name. Around the just will assemble, because of your goodness to me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Everyone abandoned me, but the Lord stood by me. If the Son makes you free, you will be free indeed. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my Savior. My shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man that you keep him in mind. Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, breathe them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to fly. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters. From the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten-string blue. Do you give kings their victory? Who set David, your servant, free? You set him free from the evil sword. You rescued him from alien foes. Whose mouths were filled with lies, whose hands were raised in perjury. Let our sons then flourish like saplings. Grown tall and strong from their youth. Our daughters graceful as columns, adorned as though for a palace. Let our barns be filled to overflowing with crops of every kind. Our sheep increasing by thousands, myriads of sheep in our fields, our cattle heavy with young. No ruined call, no exile, no sound of reaping in our streets. Happy the people with such blessings, happy the people whose God is the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Now and forever. Amen. If the Son makes you free, you will be free indeed. of the nations. 
who would dare refuse you honor, or the glory to your name, O Lord. Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Yes, Lord God Almighty, your judgments are true and just. There shall be no more death or mourning. The old order has passed away. The Amen, the faithful and true witness, the source of God's creation, says this. Let him who thirst come forward. And him who wants it, receive the gift of life-giving water. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. From the letter of St. James. Declare your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may find healing. The fervent petition of a holy man is powerful indeed. My brothers, the case may arise among you of someone straying from the truth and of another bringing him back. Remember this. The person who brings back a sinner from his way will save his soul from death and cancel a multitude of sins. Amen. 
The Savior of mankind by, dis by dying destroyed death and by rising again restored life. Let us humbly ask him. <coughs> Redeemer of the world, give us a greater share of your passion through a deeper spirit of repentance, so that we may share the glory of your resurrection. May your mother, comfort of the afflicted, protect us. May we console others as you console us. In their trials, enable your faithful people to share in your passion. And so reveal in their lives your saving power. You humbled yourself by being obedient even to accepting death, death on a cross. Give all who serve you the gifts of obedience and patient endurance. For the fruitfulness of the preaching tonight. For all the unemployed, especially those in our National Leadership Network, for next year's class of students. For the Dawson family, especially relatives who have the coronavirus. Um, for the Mallory and Roberts family, their newborn children, class of 10th high school, St. Thomas Morning Group. Transform the bodies of the dead to be like your own in glory and bring us at last into their fellowship. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray, O God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness. Grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to you, God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of March 28th. In 1346, Blessed Venturin, Dominican priest, an eloquent preacher, he was accused of opposing the Pope's residence at Avignon. Pope Benedict XII sent him to a convent in the Alps. But later he was recalled from there by Clement VI. Entrusted with preaching a crusade against the Turks, he died at Smyrna with the French soldiers who had fought against the Muslims. Elsewhere the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life. Remember, the most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone would to thy protection implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, 
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.